Hi, my name's Rebecca Hill and I'm a British Horse Society Intermediate Instructor and I'm also an accredited Pony Club coach. And I'm here today with Horse Mart to show you some handy hints for Horse Mart people. So today's handy hint that we're going to show you is hoof oil. We're going to show you a cheap and cost-effective way to make hoof oil for those special occasions such as shows and presenting your horse. So we have some cheap vegetable oil, any vegetable oil will do, and then we have some Stockholm tar, and again you can buy that from most saddleries. Always use protective gloves when you're handling these sorts of products. So we just put these on. Now you can use an old supplement pot or anything like this to store it in. You just need to get a little bit of Stockholm tar, add that into your pot, like so. And then we just add some vegetable there. So you can see you can make quite a lot for a very small amount of ingredients. So we'll give this a stir. As you can see. So as you can see we can make quite a lot of hoof oil for a very small amount of ingredients so it's very cost effective. Uh, we can use the old hoof oil brush to brush that on and then we'll show you what it looks like on the horse. Okay so now I'm going to show you how to put the hoof oil on correctly for turnout competitions. It's really important to pick your horse's feet out at least twice a day and every time you paint their feet. Um, so this is Red, he's a 15-1 um, little New Forest cross. So we'll show you exactly how you should be picking feet out. Always do it into a bucket when you're on the yard. And you want to go just around the horse's frog, which is this V shape, into the lateral cleft, which is either side of the frog, and the central cleft, which is in the middle. So you really want to get everything out. Okay, and what's always a really good idea is to just brush the hoof with a stiff dandy brush before we put any oil on. You can really see that that's getting all the bits off. There we go. I'm going to take my hoof oil that I made earlier. You always want to paint the underneath of the horse's foot. So you just get right up into the clefts of the frog. Be very careful with the horse with lighter colour hair. And then you just pop that round up to the coronet band. And there we have it. Okay, so as you can see, his feet look very smart. So for a turnout competition there, that is a cheap and effective way to paint the horse's feet. You've got all of this left in your pot, as well as nearly a whole pot of Stockholm tar. And vegetable is very cheap to buy. So this would probably last you all year, as you're only using it for the show season.